So I've been trying to get out and fly this uh, Dolphin Pro again, uh, testing a different uh, motor thrust angle, and uh, this is the sort of weather we've been we've been having, unfortunately. I think when this rain squall goes through, I, I'll have a chance in a nice wet field, but. So what I've done is uh, remove the flight control board. I'm just going to fly in manual and get it flying nicely first, which is always a good idea when you're doing a, an INAV setup. As I said, I've put a couple of washers under the bottom mount points for the motor, so that's giving us a little bit more thrust angle to try and uh, make it easier to launch. We'll not nose down straight away or while we're up flying. And I have three different flight modes. Uh, I have pure elevons, uh, then pure V-tail, so that's just ailerons and elevator on the on the tail, um, and then I have a mixture of the both, so that's elevons plus elevator on the V-tail. Other things that I've done, uh, I've found the, um, through the fuselage, electrical connectors were becoming unreliable. Every time I'd land, the wings would pop off. I'd pop them back in, but the servo wouldn't reconnect. So I've just taken out that um, through the fuselage connector and passed the servo wire straight through into the receiver. So it looks like the rain has eased off. Nothing too much on the horizon. So let's go out and have a, a wet fly in the soggy field. All right. Here we go. We're on 6S, pure elevon, elevon mode, a little bit more thrust angle and uh, let's see how we go. That feels better already. I'm backing off the throttle. That is flying nicely now. Still a little bit nose down maybe. Trim it up a bit. I can finally relax. Under half throttle. Elevon mode. It's flying nicely. So that little bit of thrust angle has made a difference, I think. That's only one washer, that's only about 0.4 millimeters. All right, let's try. So this is V-tail mode. It's flying nicely too. Having to change the trim a little bit. It's flying nicely. Could do with a bit less elevon, I think. Elevator, I mean. But ailerons are good. Flying a bit slow, maybe, but it does fly slow easily, so it'll fly easily on 4S. I prefer elevons to V-tail. All right, let's try combination of the both. So this is elevons and V-tail. It's flying nicely, carving around. I'm just flying nice and slowly, it doesn't have to go fast. I think it's a good slow plane actually. So the combination of both, I've got, uh, I've reduced the, the uh, weight to 30 on elevate, elevons and 30 on elevator. That's that's quite nice. That'd be a good cruisy setup. All right, I might put a, uh, a camera on board. I think this is worth recording. 
gliding it in. Look at that, all, all in control. Very nice. That's forward swept wings and the wing fences, I think, mean um, uh, it has very good anti stall performance. I've just popped a, popped a couple of washers underneath the bottom um, mount points there. Um, so either that or just uh, getting rid of the flight control board and having better control. So there's, I've had to trim it up like that, that amount there. All needing trim up, so I might even move the um, center of gravity back a little bit. Would that be wise? Oh, it is a bit nose heavy, a little bit nose heavy, so that would be my uneating trim up, so that's cool. Other little things I've done is I've, I've cut about four or five millimeters off that bolt there, so it's not such a pain to screw in. I've put in a little uh, servo arm hatch retainer there, just screwed that in and, and dripped some CA glue into the, into the screw hole. Uh, no flight control board, just the receiver. I'm going to put a camera on board there. And 6S, which is two 18650 3S blocks together. Alright, we've got a camera on board now. Uh, Runcam Thumb Pro, just sort of stuck up on the top there. Uh, that will show us our different controls. Starting off in Elevon mode. Oh, it takes off easily now. Pure Elevon mode. Pulling a tight turn. Slowing down a bit. Oh, you can fly nice and slowly. It's a bit noisy, uh, not so into noisy planes. Need some trim. Nice tight turns. All right, so. Now we're in VTAIL mode. Oh, we lose orientation, so that turns a lot more aggressively because those elevators are working like brakes, really, <laughs> up above the thrust line. Yeah, it does work pretty well this way. I've put all the push rods on the outer holes on the servo arms because uh, you need that if you're going to do mixes, 50-50 mixes. Trim it up a bit. Elevon mode now. Uh, Elevons and VTAIL mode now. Yeah, it's flying well. Nice rolls. Fly it like I want to. Much more relaxing. Oh. That was a bit radical, trying a loop too close to the ground, uh, but we got round far enough to save it, I think. Let's go again. I'm still having to use a fair bit of up trim on both the Elemons and the V-tail when I'm in V-tail mode. Um, So I possibly could even use a little bit more uh, thrust angle. Another washer under the, under the back there. I should try that, shouldn't I? Yes, I'll do that now. I'll, I've got another couple of washers, I'll pop them in. All right, I've added two more washers under the bottom of the motor, uh, motor mounts. Uh, so that is 0.8 millimeters um, more thrust angle. I wonder if I can see it here. You can see there's a little bit more angle. 
So let's try it now with a bit more thrust angle. That took off beautifully out of my hand. See now I'm on mode. I took the trim out, but I need to put it back in. There we go. Now it's flying hands off now. That is nice. I'll throttle off now, and it just keeps flying straight. So that's what it's meant to do. Okay, this is V-tail mode. I'm going nose up a bit, so yeah, definitely different trim for different modes. <laughs> Let's trim on the V-tails, I guess. Can back off now, that's going well. Throttle off. Just glides on, so that is that is very nice. So that's two washers under the uh, I'll try a throttle up. Just goes straight. That is so cool. Working well. This is the V-tail mode, so that's uh, ailerons and V-tail, elevator on the tail, which it works quite nicely. Rolls beautifully. Yeah, it is flying so much better now. Dare I try another <laughs> loop? I'll do it right up there with the V-tail mode. Oh, a bit radical. Okay, not the best looper maybe. All right, Elevon mix now, plus V-tail. Fifty percent throttle on. 6S. I'm going to try 4S too just to prove that it does work on 4S. That's cool. Yeah, it's just flying well now. It is rising a bit under throttle. So possibly uh, not much. But my batteries are sagging when I do that. They're only little 18650s. All right, so that's going well. I'll try it on 4S now. I'm pretty convinced that thrust angle has helped a lot. Lovely. 4S 3300 LiPo. Maybe put the CG back a little bit. Yeah, I need to shift that CG forward a little bit. I'll bring it in. She's a little wobbly. Well, 
Well, that'll do it for the moment. That's gone very well. The adjustment to the thrust angle has worked very well. I think um, maybe just one washer would be better, possibly. 6S is better than 4S, but it can fly on 4S. Ele pure Elevons were okay, but I think it needs a little bit more than the 50-50 mix, more elevator in the Elevon mix. Um, pure VTAIL was a very nice mix, so that's 50% uh, ailerons and 50% elevator on the tail. The mix of the two is also very good, Elevons and VTAIL, elevator on the VTAIL, so that was 30% Elevons and 30% VTAIL. Um, both of those work very well, so yeah, we're good to go now. I think that's made a big difference. So I'll put the FPV gear back on and we will continue on. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.